Hi everyone, so I've got six snakes that I want to open on today's video. I've been out and got them today, um, two of which have come across from Holland from Marco, um, Marco Morphy's ball pythons, really nice guy, 100% recommend him, go and check out his morph market. Um, and the other one, the very lovely Scott Wilkinson's reptiles, um, been up to Scott's today, absolutely blown away by his collection, amazing guy, um, and four have come down from him, so absolutely 100% will be putting the details of those two in the description and definitely go and check them out, they've both got awesome Instagrams and um, they are both on Morph Market as well. So go definitely check them out. Let's open these snakes because we need to see them. So let's have a look at these snakes. I'm doing it on the floor just because I just find it a bit easier that way. So um, let's look at the four from Scott first of all. So loving the bags. Loving it. UK captive bread. So what have we got in here? Well tied. <laughs> In here we have a very lovely super pastel bamboo pinstripe. Absolutely gorgeous. That is a little boy. He is lovely. Look at these colours. Love him. That is snake number one. Coming flying out of the gate. Get back in there a minute, mate. That's number one. Number two, again from Scott Wilkinson Reptiles. Definitely in, I probably should have loosened these off beforehand. <laughs> Schoolboy error. What have we got in here? is another male. This is a Enchi Desert Ghost. Boy. He is a stunner. Ghost. That was my next shopping bag. There's two in this one. Again, should have loosened it off before the video. Right, I've got double trouble in here. So we do have a, so this is a normal female, double head, ghost stripe. So that is her, little shy girl. So again, she is double head, uh, ghost and stripe. Treasure, and this is my favourite from Scott. <laughs> this is a yellow belly spark, aka a puma who 
is very lively. I'm hoping she'll settle. That is a female. If it, oh, it's still going. Hoping that she'll settle so you can see that stripe. Look at that. So she is just a puma. I had to wrestle her pretty much from Scott because um, of how clean she is. She is really clear. She doesn't have the normal kind of granite um, markings that they get, pumas. Um, but you double check the breeding and it is just a puma. So interesting. I think he's going to hold her sibling back because a sibling was equally, equally as clean as she is. So nice to sneak this one out. She is gorgeous. So, female puma. Her little head. I don't know if she'll keep her head still long enough. There she is. So, those are the four from Scott. The next two are from Marco. Marco Morphy over in Holland. Um, great guy to deal with. Fantastic communication, like start to finish, he's been fantastic. So, <laughs> here we have a pewter male. That's it. Well, that's not it, obviously. Um, so this is a pewter male and he is triple hair for ghost, desert ghost and a mule. A more, a mirror, a mirror, one of those. Um, I don't think a lot of people are working with that gene in the UK at the moment. I might be wrong, might be totally off the mark. Um, I was just looking for desert ghost stuff really, um, and ghost stuff. So when I saw a triple hair, I was like, oh, well, that sounds a bit interesting. Um, and then I started looking at the mural gene, and it's really nice. Um, reminded me a little bit like the pu of the puzzle, um, a little bit, um, which I also love. Um, so yeah, this is a pewter male triple hair ghost desert ghost a mule, and what I really like about him is how his markings down the back, or just off his head, are really like mottled. Don't know if you can see that there. He is really nice. Lovely. So that is another boy. We go in there. And then his girlfriend is in here. And she's lovely. Future girlfriend. So this is a very shy, oh no, she's coming out. This is a very shy cinnamon Mojave triple hair ghost, desert ghost and a mule. So I'm quite aware that they both have um, cinnamon in. So, um, Obviously, what I don't really want to do is breed them together and then get a whole um, a whole clutch of super cinnies, which are obviously just all really dark brown, straight black snakes. Um, but, you know, the potential outcomes probably outweigh that. And obviously, if I do get a whole load of super cinnies, I'll just have to keep them all to find out what they are. So... That is a cinnamon Mojave triple hair ghost, desert ghost and a mule and that's a little girl. So there we go, they are all put away and uh, settling in. Um, I've put them, separated them off into the hatching rack just so that they're away from everybody else for a minute and um, we'll see how they go. Hopefully they'll feed in the next week or so. 
Um, I'll leave them obviously for a few days, settle in, um, wait for them to, you know, get acclimatised to their new environment and then give them a feed and uh, hopefully it all goes really well. Um, I will keep you obviously updated with how they're getting on. Uh, some pretty cool animals there, really excited. Um, wasn't really planning on breeding ball pythons, but it's just the patterns and the colours. You can't, there's no other snakes you can get that variety of colours and patterns and different morphs, they're amazing. So, um, didn't really go up with the intention of buying a load of snakes today. Um, I, obviously, I knew that I that there was a couple coming, um, but I was just absolutely blown away by Scott's collection. Just absolutely <laughs> um, fantastic time. I literally could have stayed there all day. Um, I'm sure, he would have kicked me out eventually. Um, but it was yeah, great meeting him. Great looking around. Um, yeah, just really good. Definitely go back. Um, Raiders racks again for sure. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it there because I'm knackered. I'm going to go and sit down. Um, thank you for watching. Like the video if you like it. Subscribe um, if you haven't already and this is your sort of thing. Um, share the video if you like someone else, if you think someone else might like this type of mania. Um, going to probably put a slit in, in an egg in the next few days and see what's going on inside. Um, should be, really, should be pipping any day now. Um, they've not started to dimple yet, they're still quite firm. Um, you know, that can take longer, sometimes longer than others. So um, absolutely no idea what's gonna happen there, but we'll find out in the next few days. Um, so, if you want to see that, hit the bell when you subscribe and it will tell you when I upload another video. And um, I'll see you again.